Let us understand about code quality. In any project, maintaining the quality of the code plays a significant role as well as we can make the process to maintain the code quality as a part of continuous integration where it will provide the metrics on the quality of the code as well as how much standard have been followed and it will keep on giving the continuous feedback to the developers so that they can make sure the quality is not diluted. There are many tools available like SonarCube, Apache Etudes, Facebook Info, Proticode and n number of code quality verification tools available which can very easily integrate with n number of IDEs like Eclipse, Visual Studio, IntelliJ as well as we can make it as a part of Marvin build or as a part of the continuous integration. Let's see a small introduction on a code quality verification tool like SonarQ. It very easily integrates with the continuous integration and it facilitates to control the quality of the code. It supports more than 25 languages. It provides reports on where and all we do have the duplicate codes, whether the coding standard have been followed or not whether all the code would get covered for some conditions. There might be some logic within the code which will never get executed because the conditions will be such a way there will not be any scenario where that particular piece of code would get executed and proper comments have been followed or not. Is there any security vulnerability or there any bugs already existing within the code based on the logic. So let's see a small demo how SonarCube works. SonarCube provides an online tool where I can generate the report. So this is how any report looks like. What I have done as a part of the Jenkins in the application where I have the simple Java Marvin app, I have included the Sonar Cloud as well. So within Sonar Cloud, I do have an access where I can do the verification of any project available within the GitHub. So within the application that is available, that is within Jenkins, I have configured the Sonar. So what I have done, I have included the plugin of Sonar so within Jenkins, I included a plugin called SonarCube Scanner for Jenkins. So already I have installed. It's very simple as search the available plugin and say install. So whatever the plugin that you wanted to have, you can install. And I have done the configuration within the application to include the SonarCube as a part of build. After doing the build, the clean and package, what will happen? The SonarCube Scanner would get executed and I have provided the properties on how this particular sonar cube should get triggered and where and all I do have the class files, what is the login details to get into my account of sonar cube. So with this information and uh, this particular application is configured to get triggered whenever there is a change in the code. So within build trigger, what will happen every two minutes, it will keep on verifying or it will keep on checking. Is there any code change happened within the GitHub or not? So I'm going to include a code change and check how that is getting affected. So within source, let me create a new file. I'm going to make the same content as it is. So I do have a small piece of Java code. I'm going to include the same code. Let me include the name of the class as similar to the file name. This is the standard needs to be followed within Java. So I have put in a variable which is not used anywhere. And let me check whether that is identified or not. I'm committing this particular file. So once the change is committed, what will happen? Automatically that would get triggered by the Jenkins. So every two minutes it's going to verify. Let me check the application status. Yes, it got triggered. So as per the Marvin build, what will happen? The build will happen first. It's going to compile all the code. So build is successful. Now it's going to run the sonar scanner and verify the quality of the code. So it's going to give a consolidated information for the entire project. Let the scanning happen. So the analysis is over and the report is available over here. Let me check the status of the report. So I should be in a position to get the overview as well as is there any issues, the security report. I can get the entire a summary. So is there any report on the language, rule or standards? or on the files. So these are all some of the suggestions that it had provided. If you observe very carefully for the file that we created, remove this unused variable and uh, make this particular final variable as static. So it's going to give all the suggestions, how much effort it's going to take and what are all the overhead and the severity of it, whether it is major or critical. So all suggestions it's going to provide and make sure the code is neat and tidy.
we can assign these tasks to the developers and ask them to fix it and uh, once the fix is done automatically it will recognize whether that particular change is fixed or not and it should be in a position to get get that reflected as a report so i should be in a position to get the continuous report as and when the code keeps getting changed the build will happen so it's a continuous process and it makes sure the quality is maintained for the entire project as well as all the projects are homogeneous and the standard is maintained for all the projects across the organization which is controlled through the continuous integration like jenkins